see another numerical related to eccentric loading. So I'll read the numerical and we'll have to find out the cross section dimension. Of course, it is having rectangular cross section and link is given. I'll draw here the cross section they have mentioned. So it is like this with respect to thickness. They have mentioned this will be 2t and the width is t correct and pulling force p is acting on a structure like this correct it means maximum tensile stress is acting on the structure so i'll read the numerical an offset link very important offset link subjected to a force of 25 kilo newton i'll write p is equal to 25 kilo newton As shown in figure, it is made up of grey cast iron FG300. So this will be SUT because grey cast iron is brittle material. So I will have to write 300 Newton per mm square with factor of safety 3. Correct. Determine the dimension of the cross section. But here is important is offset link. You can see the structure. The link is situated over here, which is having P is the force 25 kilo Newton with cross section they have mentioned 2T with respect to T and offset link 10 mm offset is there. So here important is eccentricity. I told you what is eccentricity? It is a nothing but it is a distance between load applied with respect to CG. Now of course CG of this rectangular cross section will be act at its center. Correct? This will be your eccentricity. Act at a center. It means eccentricity is nothing but 10. Load is applied from the distance 10 mm. 10 plus 2t will be the cross section divided by 2. Half of it. So I can write 10 plus t will be the eccentricity. This is very important while designing this eccentric loading. Understood? Eccentricity is 10 plus t in this case because it is offset link first thing. Second thing we'll have to use our regular equation as we know that is we'll have to write step number one all you should write this is in given data. Step number one I will have to write that is tensile stress is equal to direct stress plus bending plus bending in this case what happened direct stress p by a plus bending is m b y by i this is for the rectangular cross section p is nothing but force that is 25 into 10 raise to 3 with respect to area that is they have mentioned 2 t into t plus Bending moment nothing but P that is force into eccentricity with respect to Y divided by moment of inertia. So I'll again write I will have to convert this that is 12.5 into 10 raise to 3 divided by T square plus P is nothing but 25 into 10 raise to 3 into eccentricity we have calculated 10 plus T into y is neutral axis distance for 2t it is 2t by 2 correct divided by movement of inertia for the cross section 2t cube into t divided by 12 is that clear so likewise we'll have to put the values and we'll have to convert for r sake in simplify format i'll write it is as it is 12.5 in to 10 raise to 3 plus into 10 raise to 3 divided by t square. So again I will have to convert this into simplify format. I will get you can multiply this. Uh, you will get in this huh, you will get in this this is 25 correct plus 10 will have to add that is 3 it's 375 almost.
okay this can be this can be we can write that is 375 into 10 raised to 3 plus 37.5 into 10 raised to 3 divided by t cube so this is in t raised to cube this is t raised to square so we'll have to simplify it we'll have to uh, simplify it i will have to write asli asli uh t cube t cube okay i will have to write from this 12.5 into 10 this to 3 divided by t square plus 37.5 into 10 this to 3 it is actually in case of t square plus 375 into 10 this to 3 divided by it is t cube so i will have to simplify for our sake i will have to write directly which is equal to that is 12.5 37 that is 50 into 10 raised to 3 divided by t square plus 375 into 10 raised to 3 divided by t cube correct now for conversion i will have to write 50 into 10 raised to 3 into t plus 375 into 10 raised to 3 divided by t cube So this will be the conversion. Now here we know SUT by factor of safety. Now SUT is how much? Three hundred and factor of safety three. It is nothing but hundred is equal to. I can write directly fifty into ten raised to three t plus three seventy five into ten raised to three divided by T cube. So I'll simplify this by writing that is hundred T cube minus fifty into ten raised to three T minus three seventy five into ten raised to three is equal to zero. Correct. So this will be the consideration and through which. will get the value of thickness is 25 point something mm and which can be will have to consider this will be the 26 mm thickness and it is having cross section 2t that is 26 into 2 that is 52 mm so likewise will have to calculate the cross section t into 2t that is 26 into 52 this will be the cross section for the rectangular cross section which can be given so likewise we need to solve so i hope you understood this we have just refer the simple equation and we'll have to convert it into quadratic form and through which we'll have to calculate the dimensions of the cross section i hope you understood this thank you